Hi there, Libra. This is Kim with your message for your weekly reading, April 11th through the 17th. This is just going to be a quick read just to see what cards want to come out from the tarot, give you advice, and um, we'll draw an oracle card near the end too. So some advice from your spirit, spirit guides, maybe your own spirit, maybe your higher self, and your angels. So dropping into our heart space, Libra. A sip of coffee real quick. I hope that didn't make too loud of a noise. This one. <laughs> Might have. Okay. Hang on a sec. Oh, my hand. <laughs> Libra. What do we have? The magician and the six of cups in the reverse. Mm, the Seven of Swords. Keeping quiet about something that needs healing still. Maybe having a family member sneak around. Or somebody sneaking around like they have to. Like they have to sneak around. Does that make sense? But we're, we're manifesting something here. What are we manifesting? The Magician. A burden to be lifted from us and we don't realize that it is about to because there's a surprise here so something is about to relieve us of our burdens libra i don't know what this is about but we're gonna go to the other deck and see if we can't get some you know, confirmation double confirmation or something here because there is a seven of swords energy either lying cheating stealing or just you know a need to sneak around for some reason um it can be a soulmate and separation situation. I feel like it's a situation from the past with the Six of Cups in reverse, and it, it's in need of amending. There's something about it that you are carrying more of the weight of, and now we're not. Okay, so a burden being lifted is is what I'm, you know, left with here. Seven of Swords. I think we're able to discern what this is that's going on because I see this yellow as just big awareness and enlightenment about something that's going on. This is disappointment in somebody. It's, it feels like it's a family member. Mm. I mean, it can be what you thought was a soulmate energy. Aquarius energy. This is because of something that happened in the past regarding some deception, lying, cheating, stealing, something like that. What else about this disappointment? So there's a need to um, deal with this pain, with this heartache. Might be um, somebody snuck around and there's a third party situation or some kind of sorrow or loss or sadness. It either can be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius, Scorpio or Sagittarius, maybe an Aries. More advice. So the advice would be to feel through this emotion um, and really feel what it what it's making you feel like, if that makes sense. Go inside and process this information so that you can move on. Yeah, so that you can get the most out of what you invest your time in. Uh, go inside and try to figure out, you know, what is it I need to invest in? What do I need to um, focus on regarding myself? Maybe shut down social media for a little while. Just something to um, get over whatever this issue is. You and somebody that you're enlightened to them lying, cheating, or stealing. I don't know. It Maybe in some weird way something is manifested this way so that you can break free. I don't know. I'm getting that message. So it's probably true. <laughs> uh, psychic detective, postcognition, psychometry, telepathy, and dowsing. I was <laughs> just kidding, by the way. Spiritual herbalist, spiritual healer, healing rituals, and ancient wisdom. Psychic detective. That's interesting. That's an interesting one. Spiritual herbalist. Maybe we're on some kind of new vitamin regimen or we're eating differently. Maybe something like that that we're trying. 
Okay, focus is needs to be on you though. These are timing cards. You can pick one, two, or three. In the very near future for one. Number two, plan for the short, short term. Sorry. Number three, nine months. And that's what I got for you. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye.